Good afternoon, eh? Whoa, probably. Probably shouldn't have used the one I just dropped on the floor, eh? Today, I've got a question to ask you guys, right? And it's about the next generation. So, should we get into it then? Right, so, here's my question, right? I had a bit of a, not a, an argument, but a disagreement with somebody this week. This week, last week, I can't remember. About, they were struggling to get people in to work for them, right? And they were paying what I would say is a bit of a low wage if you want the guys and you've got the work and you need the people in. And they were complaining about um, not having people in. So like I said, they were complaining about not pe people not wanting to work, right? Now, they were offering, I think it was like £11 an hour for labouring. Uh, yeah, ten. Yeah, £11 an hour they were offering for labouring. And their response was, well, you know, people should be happy to come and get the money. They're learning a trade. Um, they're, they're thinking about the future. You know, they can be earning like a few years, maybe five years. They can put, might even be earning like 150, 200 pound a day, that sort of stuff. And, um, and my response was, people aren't going to do it. Kids aren't going to do it because they don't think about the future as much as what they used as lot as much as what my generation did and certainly not the generation before us did the gen x's and the boomers and that there's no jobs for life anymore i saw a, a survey on linkedin i know it's linkedin but i saw a survey on linkedin and they said that people on average change their jobs every 18 months now why are you going to graft and cane yourself for what is like 11 pounds an hour when you can go work in like somewhere like audi i know our local factory is potato factory i know but they were, char they were paying £14 an hour to stand on a line picking potatoes off. Why on earth? And that was pick you up from outside your house in minibus, take you, eight hour shift and home. Now, why on earth would you kill yourself like outside? I say kill yourself. Like, why on earth would you push yourself working outside, working on like landscaping, driveways, um, ground working, hard work, and it is hard work because I've done it, for minimal money? I don't think that people want to do that anymore. And I think you've really got to start paying for the way. And I see this quite a lot. I've had, you know, I guess I've had quite a few conversations about wages and stuff this last few weeks with people because the wages in the UK just going through the floor, man. And the cost of living is like massive. I heard a real good quote the other day and somebody was saying that they came to the UK from South Africa and they, they all their through their life, they've been told that the UK is a rich country. And when they came, they were, they were like, actually, the UK is a poor country with a, with a high cost of living, but they have a good um, currency, right? So they've got a high currency. So they, in the world standing, they're quite high up. But in reality, cost of living is ridiculous. Food banks are on the rise. People can't afford to eat. Keep, people can't afford to look after their families. And people are picking between like heating and feeding the kids, right? That's not a rich country. So anyway, so getting back to it then, do you think that it's wrong to sit there and say, hey, look, you know, if you want the guys in, or the lads, women, whatever, I don't care, like Michelle works here, my, well, my girls work here, do you think it's ridiculous to think that they should come and do it for like 10, 11 pound an hour? And do you think that the promise of, being able to pick up a trade, now let's be realistic, right? Who wants to be at 50 years old? So you do it for 30 years. Who still wants to be grafting and digging holes and like, you know, hard work? Nobody really wants to do that. Like I'm, I'm, I'm 37, 38, something. I kind of give up after 35, caring. But I don't want to be grafting. Like I'd, I'll do it, but I don't want to be absolutely hammering my body because it hurts now, right? And so, yeah, do you think that the, and also, do you think the next generation want to work like that? Uh, and I don't say this in a disrespectful way to him. I would argue I maybe have a fairly good pull on that in that um, I have a daughter who's nearly 17. I've got a boy who's 13 and another daughter who's 11. So like, and they have friends, obviously, and we see people, and we talk to people. And so we understand we have a fairly good understanding, I would think, of how children are. I mean, and we're out in the country, so... Again, I hate to say it, but people that live out in the country are normally happier to go and work and graft outside and do harder work. Uh, please don't hate me for it, you know. 
Um, but we do have a lot of city people move, move around here from London. And uh, yeah, it is quite funny, really, because, yeah, well, it's, it's the countryside versus city and it, urban versus rural. But so anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> Imagine that, I'm rambling. But yeah, so do you think that we should, if we want more, we should be paying for more? Do you think that um, we should be paying the kids more because we want them to come into the trades? Because, I mean, let's be honest, right? If nobody comes into the trades in the next five, ten years, then where are we at? We're really stuffed, aren't we? Do you think they're... I don't... Uh, and again, I don't mean it in a horrible way. I'm not judging them. Do you think they're capable of it? I think I had quite a different upbringing to what they've had. And when I speak to my eldest, she like some of the stuff she says that how the, the people are... And she does... She's doing an engineering course, right? So she's not daft. And the people she's hanging around with aren't daft. And, um, but yeah, like the, the outlook that they maybe have on life and, um, their personal skills, their work skills, all that sort of stuff. Sorry, the beer. Yeah, their work skills and everything like that are not what we would need. And so I suppose, from my point of view, if you want good quality people that are going to turn up every day, be enthusiastic, work hard, especially graft then you're going to need to pay for them. And it's not just like the whole, well, they should be happy for a job. Because it's not, the world's not like that anymore, I don't think. And I think that people aren't necessarily happy to work sometimes. And there is a bit of a labour shortage. And there is definitely a trade shortage. But yeah. So what do you think? Do you think that, do you think that there is a labour shortage? Do you think that we should pay extra for the people that want to come in? Do you think that there should be more incentives for, for kids, especially when I say kids, I mean like the early, well, teens to like early 20s. Do you think there should be more incentives for them to come into the trades? Because if we don't have them coming in, we're stuffed, aren't we? But, um, but yeah, I, I'm interested on your thoughts. I'm interested because this guy seems to think that I had no idea what I was talking about. And I was like, well, we built the, built the business up from nothing. Like in eight years, we started out in our little garage with like a little wooden saw, like, well, wooden saw, like a table saw I built from MDF and a motor, right? So, and we built it up into this. And we've kept going through COVID and we're still going now and the lights are still on and the bills are still paid. So I would like to think that, and again, I've got teenage kids, so I would like to think that I've got a fair idea of the way that the world is and the way that they think and the way that things are. I tend to find that the older guys are kind of a little bit maybe stuck in the ways and they just think people should be happy for the opportunity which I agree with, but I do think that maybe we need to try and find a way to encourage people to take up those opportunities because kids these days, it's a different world, right? Um, everybody wants to be YouTubers and I think before I go, like when I was a kid, everyone wanted to be footballers or music stars and then you hit a certain age and you're like, right, well, that's not going to work. But what barrier is there to stop them being a YouTube star? You know, if you if you can't play football, then you can't be a football player. If you can't sing, you can't rap, you can't do music, then you can't be a musician. But pretty much anybody could do YouTube if they give it a go. You, everyone can find a niche, right? So what's the encouragement to bring kids and the next generation into these professions, into these trades that that where they're needed? And I think the argument for like AI and stuff like that is like a nonsensical argument for trades because it was always the thought that ai and robots and all that sort of rubbish are going to remove all the blue collar jobs but in reality they're going to remove all the white collar jobs right because they're getting rid of because you've everybody's seen like the ai art and copywriting and marketing and all this sort of stuff so yeah i'm really interested to hear what you think because i work on my well i work with michelle but like i don't work with loads of guys that i have chats to so and, and this is like a, a back and forth right so by all means let us know below and and um yeah, I hope I haven't rambled. No, that made sense. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go because Michelle's pulling up now. I'm going to go eat, drink, be merry and come back tomorrow for another day's work, okay? Anyway, cheers, guys. You take it easy. Oh, and you have a great one. I'll catch you on the next one, all right?